Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with my, must be my third part, with the Yulina palette. That is my palette of the month and I really don't know which palette I'm going to use next month. I want to have something that starts with J. I don't know if I have that. So I'm going to use this and today I am doing a shimmer look as well because the shimmers in this palette all look amazing. I have used... I've used 8 out of 12 shades, so I know ex almost exactly what I want to do today. So I'm just going to prime my eyes and then we get started. So I want to go in with... This was the part I wasn't so certain about. I think because I want to use these two on my lid because it looks amazing when they are swatched. Do you see me? I don't know, can I, I don't know if I dare to bend this back. Um, I want to use these two on my eyelid, so I think I'm maybe going in with this one in my crease. I don't know if it, it is a little bit too dark, but I think I will try. I think that is like the only thing that I am missing in this palette, but at the same time I don't miss it. Like a light transition shade, but at the same time... I'm happy that there is none in this. The only thing I could... Okay, I'm going to do a review in the end of this video. So I'm not going to... I'm going to try to remember what I wanted to say. And we take it in the end. Okay, this works. I think maybe the most of these shades work with a light hand. And I have ordered the After Dark collection or the palette the shades and I am so looking forward to it it's on it it is on its way and it usually goes pretty fast but now during the whole thing in the world I don't know but the brand is from Germany and I live in Sweden it is it is actually not that long not for me at least I think if I would drive to like the border of Germany, I think it would take like four or five hours or something like that. So it's not that far away, but the Swedish postal service is, it usually is shit. And now during the pandemic, it is even more shit. Okay, I think I would just go like that and then I'm going in with narcissist this one this is a duochrome i i guess it is a duochrome i don't know if you can see it i'm so bad at this i don't get how people can do this because i can't but it's shift like i don't know but i'm going in with that on my outer Maybe not half, or maybe, we will see. We will see how amazing this looks on the eyelid. And we will see how far I will take it. Okay. And I'm smudging it a little bit up in my crease and, oh. I don't know though which colors. It feels like it is like a little green and maybe a hint of Pink. I'm not going to try to describe the color because we all know <laughs> that is not my strong thing to do. If you're watching me, it, it feels like nothing is my strong thing. Not talking English, not uh, describing shades, not doing halo eyes. So, yeah. The one thing I like, like, here when I blend it out, it's like the shimmer almost disappears a little bit. So it gives a really nice like fade into my crease shade. Really like that. And now going in with the pink one. Worth it. And the rest on my lid. Maybe I should try to use all the shades in this in my... Um, palette of 
the month with us. Okay, I don't know how light or dark this is going to be, but as for right now, I really like what I'm seeing. It feels though like this would be better if I would take in a glitter primer underneath. It works, but it doesn't. I don't know about formulas because <laughs> I never figure some. I never f read about anything ever when it comes to makeup because I just want to play with makeup. But it feels like some shade in this is not that like opaque and like a different shimmer formula nothing wrong with it at all but it's just like it's not that opaque and it feels like i'm saying that like in a negative way i don't even though i prefer like really impact opaqueful shimmers i have nothing against when it isn't that like super strong pigmented and opaque because i know that a lot of people Maybe like to have a little hint of it and not have it like bam in your face, but I I usually don't care. I think I'm going to repeat myself a little bit in this when I'm coming into the review part actually. So I hope you're okay with that. So when I did my first impression with this palette, I got some comments that people really liked that I did a video on this because it's not that many English speaking people <laughs> that has done videos on it. Maybe now it's a little bit more, but like I couldn't find, okay, I didn't search the world, but like the top videos were all in German and like the promotion video with this with Yulina, the influencer that is this is in collab with i think that video was in german and i'm like okay so i will take away the fallouts i have some i think mostly from this okay i have from the pink one as well so i will take away the fallouts fix my base and then i come back and do the under eyes and i'm actually thinking about trying to use this blue one on my lower lash and i if i use that blue one i think i've used them all this I just like dipped into. Maybe I can take that in my inner corner. We will see. So <laughs> I will fix my base and then I come back. Okay, so time for the under eyes. And I think I don't know. I think I maybe want to go in with surgery. This one. And put it. Maybe I should take. Now I take this Seren dip it that I had in my crease and just smoke it not the whole way because I want to take the blue shade closest to my inner corner or in my like half of my bottom half of my lower lash maybe like that so I can have so I can use all the shades So, and I actually think that I want to spray this blue one because I don't, maybe I should try. It sticks really good to my brush, so I will try it. Just take it here. Okay, I'm not that sure about my choice right now, but I take this light pink put it in my inner corner instead i think i maybe had this in my first look in my inner corner and maybe this can lighten up the blue one a little bit and like connect the, those two okay, I, I think that the blue was not a good choice of my lower lash but it is what it is right now and I think I just need like something in my waterline and a mascara and I think it will look better then so I will pop that on and then we're going to see 
if I am satisfied with the third and last look with the Olina palette. Okay, so this is the finished look. For my waterline I used LA Girls Shockwave Neon Liner in... Electric? Eye electric? Electric? I don't know. And also one lippy from Lethal. This is in Anemia. And I like the look except for like the blue on my lower lash line. But other than that, I like it. So for this look, I used this one. I'm not going to pronounce this. Uh, Serendipity, Worth It, Narcissist and more. And now I have used all the shades. So I was thinking about doing a little like review on the palette and it feels like a long time since I did review so what do I think I like the packaging I think it's sleek and I think it's clean and I think it suits like Lethal's normal like theme and I like that it has a mirror I am that person that really likes a mirror I think though it's pretty small but it's in the same way kind of big for being in a, such a small palette and the shades I have used them all as I said and it is one two three four five six seven out of twelve that it shimmers and I feel that is a little different formulas on the shimmers I might be wrong I don't know I have 21 shades I think from lethal the single shadows and I haven't felt any difference between the singles I have the one thing I can feel is like some of these shimmers are a little bit harder pressed the mattes are super super good they are amazing they are exactly as the singles from lethal they are creamy they are easy to blend out they blend good together i really love that about lethal the shimmers i feel like this loyalty is a little bit drier and also this worth it is a little bit drier and i think this is more it's hard to know when I only have used it on my lower lash, but it doesn't like feel as the singles I have. And I don't want this to sound negative because it's not in a negative way. I feel that Lethal has some of the most like impact and like opaque shimmers and not all in this palette is. Do I make any sense? I don't know. So I really like it and if you don't want to buy singles, if you don't want to put together a palette on your own on their site, I think this is a good option. I think the color story is nice, it's something that I don't have so I really like that and the only thing I, I feel and that I think that people can feel with this, it's not that many like the matte shades they aren't like that big of a difference this is super light this is like for me and maybe for someone that is fair and light can use it like to set your eyeshadow base i don't use it and maybe you can highlight your brow bone if you want to but i don't do that but then i feel like they are i would have want like a more colorful matte shade maybe a pink or maybe like a green matte shade that is like my only complaint with this other than that I think I like this palette I think it's good I like though my singles more because that is colors that I've used myself I like this palette I think it's really good and I hope that they will come out with more palettes because I know it's not everybody's thing to order like single shadows like single shadows isn't something for me and I like <laughs> lethal that much that I really like to order singles from them and put them in the palette but I know it's not everybody's thing then this is such a good choice the only thing 
with this palette is the shades in this is only sold in the palette. And I get it because they have done this in a collab with someone so it's strange to do like the sing these as singles. But at the same time, maybe not everybody wants these but like this green is an amazing, awesome green and I really like this one as well because it's my kind of shadow. So that is maybe also a bit complained, but at the same time it would be strange if they're sold the Olina palette as singles. So yeah, I think that is all I have to say. I really like this palette. If you're interested in the color story, if you want to try lethal but you don't want to buy singles, I think you should buy it. It is a good palette. And I really like it. And I hope that you have liked my palette of the month with the Olina palette. Now in July. I have no idea which palette I want to take. Now I don't have any more palettes that starts with J. So that is the problem. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope you like this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!